primary goal of the Hawaii Corrosion Laboratory is to study the correlation between accelerated corrosion testing in the laboratory with corrosion performance in the natural environment. The emphasis here is to correlate the natural uh, exposure results with the more accelerated corrosion lab experiments. And we also try to study the fundamental mechanisms using electrochemical experiments as well. Over the past 13 years, uh, we've been working with uh, industry to understand the problems they face and um, the situations that they encounter in terms of corrosion. And uh, understanding their needs helps us to design laboratory tests or design sensors that will help them to collect data or to understand the environment that they're operating in. The focus of my research is on uh, climate, climate variability, and climate change especially in Hawaii uh, and other Pacific Islands and other areas of the tropics. Hawaii is a fantastic natural laboratory. It's a what we call a model system. It allows us to make studies in various locations. We can look across gradients of a particular variable while holding all other variables constant. We have a wide range of different climates or microclimates uh, that span uh, the conditions you would find across an entire continent. The Hawaii Corrosion Laboratory maintains 10 test sites in the state of Hawaii. Eight of the test sites are located here on Oahu in agricultural, dry, industrial, uh, marine, and rainforest environments. And our other two test sites are located on the Big Island. One of them is located near the volcano where there's acid rain in addition to salt and sulfur in the air. And the other test site is located above the clouds at about 11,000 feet or 3,400 meters where the solar radiation and UV is really high so they can degrade coatings faster. At the Hawaii Corrosion Laboratory, we have advanced the capabilities of correlation corrosion studies by generating a very large database of corrosion behavior of various metal alloys and advanced materials in a wide uh, range of environments such as marine, volcanic, um, and, and rainforest environments as, as well as you know, arid conditions. We use techniques such as Raman spectroscopy and FTIR spectroscopy which can be used to identify corrosion products as well as to identify the chemical bonding and coatings as they cure and, and as they degrade. Other techniques that we use are scanning electron microscopy as well as energy dispersive X-ray analysis to look at corrosion under high magnification you know, in three dimensions as well as to identify the elemental composition of the corrosion products and constituents in the microstructure um, that may be causing the corrosion. Each and every material and each and every system, they behave differently when you expose it to different environments, especially in Hawaii, so we can actually correlate the corrosion rates to these environment parameters. So once we understand these correlation, then it gives us an idea how to modify your accelerated corrosion test, then you can actually do those experiments to mimic what's happening in the outdoor environment. So this is an example of like hybrid material system. So in this case, we have like aluminum coupled to ceramic and we expose them to like different environments. And if you look at these samples here, this is after exposure of these are like two different kinds of aluminum and magnesium. Those are coupled to ceramics. And if you look at like different uh, test sites, you can see the corrosion morphology differs variedly. So we wanted to test this and then we wanted to characterize the corrosion products. And then we wanted to correlate these corrosion rate with respect to the different weather parameters that we measure at the test sites. The work that we've done with the Hawaii Corrosion Laboratory is to provide information about climate that is relevant to corrosion processes. We did this by developing maps of relevant climate variables in Hawaii and also identifying places in Hawaii where the conditions for corrosion were similar to those of military bases around the Pacific Rim. The capabilities at the HCL has generated um, international and national interest um, in, our, in our work. We have worked with the Department of Defense, you know, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Marines. They've also worked with private industry, for example, North of Grumman. Also in Japan, we've been working with Nippon Steel and the Sumitomo Metal Corporation. What we're able to do here is actually deploy samples um, and expose things at the same time, equally. Um, you know, within a week, we could be in so many different environments at the same time and be able to deploy samples. 
you know, having access to all of these things, I think we're really, you know, fortunate here at the university to have this advantage when we're doing our research. So I believe there's few places in, in the world where all of these things kind of come together in, in, in one place.